So one reason why my channel is that as well as that of other organizations like the Zeitgeist Movement is set apart from all other organizations out there is the fact that we talk about concepts that really the mainstream culture does not even recognize. So one of those concepts is ephemeralization. What is ephemeralization? Well, it's a word that was coined by the great engineer and designer Buckminster Fuller, which means the ability to do more with less. So what does that mean? Uh, besides all the negative things we see in the world today, all the negative trajectories like public health problems and environmental problems, climate change, war, social destabilization, poverty, unemployment, all the things we see today, there's one um, trend that is really the only trend that can actually salvage the problem and get us out of the, the issues we're having. And that is, that is ephemeralization, which basically means the modern science and technical capabilities, ability to achieve more, be more productive, get more things done with less resources, less energy, and more efficiency, basically, more ease of access. So, you know, and in the last hundred years, it's really hitting its exponential peak. It's just increasing, doubling every year in terms of our productive cap capability. Um, so, you know, a very simple example. Instead of having to run copper wiring all over the world to communicate with each other, now we have a satellite, which uses far less resources, right? We can call somebody in the Amazon now using our cell phone, you know, which, you know, you don't have to run wiring all over the world for that. Uh, another example, which is very simple to understand, is that the first computer that was ever invented was the size of a building. And it used up an entire energy, the entire energy of a city block to operate. And it only did a couple operations per minute. The modern cell phone or the modern computer today, which is much, much smaller in size, uses much less energy, right? Uses much less resources. It does thousands and thousands of times more operation, you know, per minute than that first computer. So what does that mean? It completely debunks the concept of um, the Malthusian premise, right? But Thomas Malthus, most people don't even know about this guy. He was an economic philosopher who basically said that the world's not going to ever change. You know, population is going to rise exponentially. Um, population uh, explosion is going to happen while resources, resources maintain a geometric rate. So that means that there has to be die-offs. There has to be poverty. People have to be poor and destitute. And they're, you know, the poor have to, the weak and the poor, unfortunately, they have to die in order for society to just progress itself. And it's the way of, that's the law of nature, which is completely ridiculous. When you look at the world of today, that is completely debunked, completely debunked, because now we, can be, we have the ability to clothe, feed, house, and supply everyone on the planet with a very decent lifestyle, very, very high standard of living for everybody. So that also debunks the concept of free markets and capitalism because money and markets were a method to preserve and deal with scarcity, okay? Not really preserve, but um, have to manage scarcity because we had scarce resources and we had great inefficiency back in the day. We don't have that anymore, okay? We don't have that anymore. Really, look at the world today. We, we can produce so much resources. We can produce so much stuff in a modern factory, which is all fully automated, by the way. Most things are fully automated. Uh, most production tech, production processes are automated. So that means that ephemeralization allows us to completely overcome that Malthusian trap. Okay, we don't have to be trapped by that anymore. Okay, not anymore, because we hit this new peak now. So what does that mean? We should we should actually pursue this trend as much as possible. But when you look at the market system, which is based on scarcity, right? Scarce resources have, have a price attributed to them. That's the only reason we have money and trade. Because there's scarcity, you have to allocate prices to resources and, and have those be traded through the labor market, right? That's why people have to have jobs. As meaningless as those jobs may be, they have to exist to get people money so they can buy things. But that also, you know, that also unfolds in, in the, the situation we see today, which is mass, mass starvation and poverty in the world for people who, who don't have uh, jobs or the people who don't, who, whose jobs are not even fulfilling. They're not able to have to fulfill their survival needs. So anyway, it's a very important concept, guys. Ephemeralization. You should definitely check it out. I'll put links in the description so to, to some books and videos you can check out as, as uh, to Buckminster Fuller's work. But, you know, um, as also the New Human Rights Movement by Peter Joseph, the, the book that it basically explains what we can do um, as far as solutions to an economic revision. We have to change our economic system. You know, if technology is changing, we got to change our economic system to um, update it 
in, in accord with the changing technology, you know? So right now our technology is basically ever increasing in its capabilities while, while our like social traditions and our culture and our economy is like so outdated, really so outdated, like 16th, 17th century in terms of like our way of thinking, which is ridiculous, you know? And this, this just gotta go, man. It can't stay this way. Um, so like I said, resources are not geometric. We can actually exponentially increase our abil ability to meet human needs. Um, does that mean everyone's gonna be living in a 500 room mansion with a yacht and a private jet? No, that's ridiculous. That's just, uh, that's a ridiculous concept. What I'm talking about is ease of, ac ease of access for life. High level of education, resources, um, shelter, uh, you know, the best food possible, the best education, um, the best sense of community, um, transportation, manufacturing, all those things can be done sustainably and efficiently. All right, so anyway guys, more videos to come. Please check back, to, check back with the channel. I'll be producing more videos like this every week. All right, see you guys later. And stay efficient. Peace.